Hi everyone, welcome to GK Today's Current Affairs Daily Notes. Today we are going to discuss Samudrayan project. I am Ritrisha from GK Today and let us begin. National Institute of Ocean Technology will launch Samudrayan project by 2021-22 to explore the deep sea region. It is pilot project of Union Ministry of Earth Sciences as part of the 6,000 crore deep ocean mission for deep ocean mining of rare minerals. So today we are going to discuss the following. 1. What is the Samudrayan project about? 2. Why is it important for India? 3. What is Samudrayan mainly looking for? And 4. What are polymetallic nodules? So what is the Samudrayan project about? The Samudrayan project is a pilot project of the Ministry of Earth Sciences for deep ocean mining of rare minerals. It proposes to send men into deep sea in a submersible vehicle for ocean studies. The project is expected to become a reality by 2021-22 and the project has been undertaken by the National Institute of Ocean Technology. Why is it important for India? If the Samudrayan project is successful, India will join the League of Developed Nations in the exploration of minerals from oceans. And India could be the first developing country to undertake such a project. What is Samudran mainly looking for? International Seabed Authority has allocated India 75,000 square kilometers site in Central Indian Ocean Basin for exploration of polymetallic nodules from the seabed. The estimated resource of polymetallic nodules in the site is about 380 million tons containing 92.59 million tons of manganese, 4.29 million tons of copper, 4.7 million tons of nickel and 0.55 million tons of cobalt. So what are polymetallic nodules? Polymetallic nodules which are also known as manganese nodules are potato shaped largely porous nodules formed under the sea. It is found in abundance carpeting the seafloor of the world oceans in deep sea. Besides manganese and iron, they contain nickel, copper, cobalt, lead, molybdenum, cadmium, vanadium, titanium, of which nickel, cobalt and copper are considered to be of economic and strategic importance. It is said that 10% of recovery of that large reserve can meet the energy requirement of India for the next 100 years. It has been estimated that 380 million metric tons of polymetallic nodules are available at the bottom of the seas in the central Indian Ocean. That's all for this video. To read more about it, simply follow the link in the description below. And if you like this video, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.